Welcome to this module of Professor Messer's free Microsoft 7680 certification training course on Windows 7 file recovery options. I'm James Messer, and in this module, we're going to look at the options available for file recovery to configure file restore points, restoring previous versions of files and folders, restoring damaged or deleted files by using shadow copies, and how to restore entire user profiles. There are two ways in Windows 7 that you can go about restoring a file. The first method is with Backup and Restore, and the second method is with something called a Shadow Copy. Now this Backup and Restore is something we did a couple of videos ago. We set up the Windows Backup process. It backed up all of our files and all of our folders. And if you recall, you could even go to the Backup folder and manually go into the compressed zip files to pull those files out if you would like. You can also find them from the Backup and Restore console. There's a nice wizard that pops up that walks you through. There's also something called a shadow copy. And the shadow copy is created when you create a restore point, either a manual restore point or when you have a restore point that's created automatically when you install an application or install a driver. If you right mouse click on a file and you choose restore previous versions, you'll see all of the different versions available to you and you'll see exactly how those versions were created. To restore files with your Backup and Restore, you can go to your Start menu into your Control Panel and simply choose Backup and Restore. Here's all of our options. Down near the bottom of the screen, I'll make this a little bit bigger here, we can restore all users' files. And I can search for certain files, certain folders, or I can browse for files or folders. And if I browse, you can see here's the Backup that was created. And I have backups for the administrator for the Atlantis Lab, for Daniel Jackson, for Jack O'Neill, for Samantha Carter. And I can drill down into that C drive, find the different files that I would like, and be able to restore right from that particular person's or that particular area of the hard drive. Makes it very simple. If I want to then choose a particular configuration, I can add those files and then tell it next. And it will either put them in the original location, which would overwrite the files, or I can specify a different location. And I would like to perhaps put it right on my particular desktop. So I'm going to choose my users. I'm logged in as administrator right now. I'm going to put it right on the desktop where I am. And if I'd like, I can even say restore files to their original mm -hmm. subfolders. I don't want to do that in this case since it's only one file. And there it is. It has restored that file from the backup onto the desktop of my computer. We can also restore files from the shadow copy. Let's finish this out and close out this window because you'll see the shadow copy if you right mouse click on a file and choose Restore Previous Versions, it will show you what previous versions are available for this file and what location those happen to be in. And you can see a restore point is right here. That's the shadow copy. It was just automatically added to that restore point. And now I could restore from that. I could copy it. I could open the file all right from this view. Being able to right mouse click on a file and choose any of those backup versions and restore them with just a couple of clicks is really easy. Let's say though that you weren't doing a Windows backup, so you couldn't go into the backup wizard and search for the file and restore it that way, but you would like to see if a file happened to be saved during the normal restore point process. Maybe there's a shadow copy of it somewhere. The problem is if you were to rename the file, if you were to delete the file, you would not have a file there with which you could right mouse click and then see if there was a previous version. There's no way to do that. So you run into a bit of a, of a conundrum then. How do you manage that process? Well, what you'll need to do is look at the entire folder where that particular file was located. And you can right mouse click on the entire folder and look at previous versions. Let's see exactly what would happen if we were to rename a file and try to restore from a previous version. Let's rename one of these files and see what happens. I've got this technical notes file we looked at previously. If I look at restore previous versions, you can see the three previous versions that are there. Now what I'd like to do is I'm going to rename this. Let's say somebody comes along. They rename it to something else that's completely unlike technical notes. New items, all lowercase there. And if I right mouse click and restore the previous versions, no versions are available. Now this is exactly the same file I had before with the same content. We didn't change the content of the file, but you can see the shadow copy service doesn't see this. This Windows backup and shadow copy versions are very specific to the name of the file. 
And now I don't recall what the name of the file was. And so what I'm going to want to do is restore the entire folder just so I can get that file back. There's really no other easy way to do this. So I'm going to pop open my file view. You can see here's your desktop. This is what we're looking at. We can find that desktop folder in the Users folder under Administrator. There is Desktop. So there's the same items that I'm looking at here on my desktop. I would like to create a backup of this desktop then, because if I restore everything in this folder, everything is going to get overwritten. You can't just pick one single thing to overwrite. So I'm going to create a new folder. Let's call it Backup. I'm going to take all of these items, and I'm going to copy them and move them right into that backup folder. It says this one you have to have administrator permission to move. Absolutely. And there's my backup folder. And just to make sure it doesn't get overwritten, I'm going to do something sneaky. I'm going to stick it on my backups drive, my drive E, and just store it there. It's an extra place. And continue, copy that over. So over on my drive E is that backup folder I just created. And inside of that folder is those files. So I know that if anything happens here on my desktop, I know that we're going to be good. In fact, I can now remove that backup from my desktop just so we clean things up a bit. And now nothing is on the desktop there. Now we want to go through the process of restoring the entire administrator desktop. So if I right mouse click on desktop, I'm in the C colon users administrator. There's the restore previous versions. And here are all the previous versions of the desktop that I can restore. So let's choose one from, let's say, 3.08 PM today. And I'm going to restore it. And it says, are you sure you want to restore the previous version from today, from 35 minutes ago? This will replace the current version of this folder. This cannot be undone. It even tells you that. So you have to be very careful. You're not going to delete anything when you do this. Let's click Restore. There we go. It's been successfully restored to the previous version. And there's my technical notes file. And now I can go in and see the items that are associated with that technical notes file. If I wanted to at that point, I could pull back those previous versions of the files from my backup drive. They're still there. Maybe I'd now want to be sure that I add the files that were not restored previously and put them back on my desktop as well. And now everything is back to the way it was, but you just had to be very careful not to delete the things that were currently there. Otherwise, very nice in the way that you can choose an entire folder and restore everything that's in that folder from a previous date and time. If you then wanted to restore an entire user's area of folders, their entire profile, It'd be very easy to do it that way. You can simply go to the user username folder, very similar to what I was doing in my desktop. I could have chosen the entire administrator folder and right mouse click, chosen a previous version of that. And I could have restored everything that's there. But remember again, it will not back up what's currently in place. It will overwrite everything that's currently in place. So you have to be sure that you know what you're doing when you're planning to restore one of those. To restore that entire user's profile, I do almost exactly what I just did. Go to my file manager, choose my local C drive, the users, and then you can choose the username that you'd like to restore. For instance, let's choose administrator. I'll right mouse click and choose restore previous versions. And you can see I have previous versions that go back to last week with the backups that I did. If I chose any of these and chose to restore, it would overwrite everything that was in this folder. So for instance, if I look at my administrator folder, if I had anything in my downloads folder, in my favorites folder, in my, my documents folder, my videos folder, it would all be gone. So make sure before you perform this function that perhaps you back up that entire user's profile. That way, if you do restore, you've got some backup somewhere else. You can copy back their documents. You can copy back the new favorites that you're missing and at least update it to where it was previously. Otherwise, very, very simple. Being able to choose a single user's folder and choose restore previous versions and go back to a previous date and time, very, very simple to do. Let's review some items we've learned from this File Recovery Options module. This first question, how can you recover a file that's been deleted using the shadow copy of the file? Well, if the file's been deleted, we probably can't go back to that original file anymore. So we'll need to restore the entire folder that actually contained the file. Our next question, very similar question, how can you restore a file from a Windows backup? Well, that process is a little bit easier. Simply go to your control panel under Backup and Restore and choose the Restore Files wizard. And our last question, where is your user profile located? 
If you had to restore somebody's entire profile, you would want to look in the slash user folder to be able to find that. Well, that covers the requirements for our file recovery options. Now we know exactly what to do if we need to restore a file, restore a folder. We know exactly where to go to get them, whether they're in our shadow folders or whether they are backed up with our Windows Backup and Restore. If you'd like to see any of our absolutely free Microsoft videos, you'd like to participate in our message boards or send me a message, you can visit our website at ProfessorMesser.com.